seriously windy today. Hey, do you want to learn about another great community located here in Martin County? One that I haven't talked about much before. Well, today we're going to dive into Palm City, Florida. You're going to love it. But before I do, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you would like to learn all about living here in the Treasure Coast because that's what I cover on this channel. Good morning or good afternoon, good evening, no matter what time of day you might be watching this video. My name is Lisa Ammons. I'm a realtor here in sunny South Florida and today I'm going to be telling you about Palm City, Florida located in the western section of Martin County. Let's drive out there and see what the area looks like. Now today is a bit dicey. It's already poured on me once, so today's video should be quite interesting. If I look like a drowned rat by the end of it, you'll know why. Okay, if you're not familiar with Palm City, let me give you the dirt. Palm City is located just west of Stewart, and there are two bridges that will get you there. Now back in the day when I was growing up, Palm City, well that's where all the rednecks lived. And before you go sucking in your face mask and hyperventilating, I say that in the most endearing way because most of my family, well, they're from the south, so we're just refined rednecks. Basically, we just a bunch of cow pastures and horse stables. And that was like 30 plus years ago. Okay, maybe 40. More like 40. But there's a lot more to Palm City than just uh, cow pastures and horse stables. So let me tell you about that. Even today, Palm City has its rural areas, equestrian communities, and that's why a lot of people like it. It is kind of the best of both worlds. It's got a lot of open spaces, a lot of lush greenery. Um, there's stables. Uh, so if you like to um, you know, ride horses, take riding lessons, or you need to board a horse, you can do that out in Palm City. There are quite a few stables located out in that area. Um, and the neighborhoods in Palm City. Many of them are uh, gated. I would have to say most of the neighborhoods in Palm City are gated. However, there are some that aren't. Um, you have both uh, neighborhoods with larger lot sizes and more natural environment, more of a woodsy type environment. Um, one neighborhood that comes to mind is Canopy Creek. I'll be doing a video on that uh, hopefully next week. You have Palm City Farms. There's all kinds of neighborhoods uh, where you can really get that back to nature feel. I just got back from a nature-filled vacation went up to the George Mountains. I'm going to post that on my favorite things playlist as soon as I have time to put all those video clips together and edit them. There are a lot of them. Rented a 100-year-old cabin and uh, got to get back to nature and away from the city and it was quite enjoyable actually. And I would like to know how many of you out there would prefer, you know, being in a more rural area or less populated area versus big city. Just curious. Make a comment below. There is a wide variety of housing choices for people in Palm City. From gated zero lot line communities with lots of amenities, including golf, and communities that are just more removed and feeling like you're out in nature there so there's a little bit of something for everybody and in addition to 
all the great neighborhoods and there are so many in Palm City um, and why real estate is in such a high demand there is the fact that Palm City is located in Martin County Florida now if you didn't know Martin County has some of the best schools in South Florida we have a rated schools here so living in Palm City you know one you buy real estate there you have a very very high resale value whether you have kids or not the fact that the property would be located in a county where education is is some of the best around um, but you know you have families uh, that um, want to live in Palm City because it's just an excellent place to raise kids parks they have many of them matter of fact I'll try to drive by at least one of them during our little venture out today and if I don't get rained on you know we can't always have beautiful weather 100% of the time so if you love nature Palm City has seven parks for you to enjoy so this is Jock Layton Park, one of many of the great parks located here in Palm City. So whether you want to walk your dog or bring your kids down to enjoy, you know, a playground, some skateboarding, playing a little softball, you can do all that out here in Palm City. Lieutenant Corporal Justin Wilson Memorial Park. That's a mouthful. Lieutenant Corporal Justin Wilson Memorial Park. Say that 10 times fast. Alcohol is prohibited in this park. I won't be hanging out here too much. All kidding aside, it's a great place for your kids. Lots of uh, baseball diamonds, picnic tables, playgrounds, you know, all that good stuff. Even though Palm City is located in the western part of Martin County. Doesn't mean you're landlocked. The intercoastal, the St. Lucie River winds back through Palm City. So if you live on the river, you can obviously be out to the ocean easily, but there are also marinas and many boat ramps in Palm City. So it's still great place for a boater because there's plenty of access to the water in this community as well. Apparently there's never enough horsepower. You know this is Florida whether you uh, are a fisherman or not. Uh, spending time on the water is something uh, most residents in this area like to enjoy. But fishing is also great here. If you are an angler, you have intracoastal fishing, you know, snook fishing. Um, you can even catch pompano in the river. But you also have deep sea fishing if you're into big billfish. Um, Stewart is the sailfish capital of the world, which is located right here at Mark County. So some of the best fishing around is located in Martin County, Florida. So uh, that's something um, that a lot of people enjoy and one of the reasons a lot of people vacation here is they love to go out and get on the water and catch some good fish. And if you're not into fishing or boating or hanging out at the park, how about some golf? Tons of golf in Palm City. We have over 10 courses just in the city of Palm City alone, not to mention how many there are in Martin County. If you enjoy golf, you will find some of the state of Florida's most beautiful golf courses located here in Palm City, Florida. Take the Floridian, for instance. Once owned by Wayne Huizinga, and established in 1996, this 
golf course brings in people from all over the world. You like the beach? Just get in the car and you're over to the beach in about mm, 10, maybe 15 minutes if traffic is bad. Two bridges, you're there. There's also convenient places to shop outside of all of your neighborhoods you will find within minutes. Uh, shopping areas, grocery stores, restaurants, um, even a farmer's market. Okay, let's talk about the real estate. The median household price is 300 and 70,000 give or take um, that's the medium you can spend several million and you could spend a couple hundred thousand the range of real estate that's available here from condos to villas to single-family residence is quite large most people have single-family residence out in this area if they are a full-time residence. Average age of the person living in Palm City is about 51 years of age, but it is a bedroom community with lots of families. You have families and you have retirees. And as I mentioned, A-rated schools is one of the biggest reasons people love to live in Palm City. Not to mention all oh, the beauty in nature. If you would like to get a list of all the Palm City neighborhoods here in Martin County, I'm happy to help you. Just click the show more at the bottom of this video and you'll get my contact information. I can send you a list of houses, send you a list of neighborhoods, or you can just contact me and we can tell you about Palm City or any of the neighborhoods that are located here. And I'm happy to do that. Well, I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little bit of something. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already done so, consider subscribing to this channel. I cover all things about the Treasure Coast, from neighborhoods to local points of interest and things to do here. And I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell if you want to be notified the next time I do upload. I try to upload at least once a week, if I can unless I'm on vacation. Uh, and I want to thank you for being here. My name is Lisa Ammons with 772 Living and Ammons and Companies of Real Estate. I hope I see you on my next neighborhood video. Take care.